Hi friends, happy, what are we at? Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Where is everybody? What's everybody doing these today, these days? That's Jess Connolly, our fearless leader. Um, Jess, you want to tell them a little bit about what yeah. your Wednesday's up to so far? <laughs> My Wednesday so far is at a grade four meeting for Better Life Bags, another amazing company you should um, check out, Better Life Bags Designs. Um, amazing, really like custom bags and they support women in Detroit who wouldn't be able to work otherwise. So it's just a great, great, great company. Huge fist bump to Rebecca Smith who runs that. So I had a Better Life Bags board meeting and just got to the office and getting my head on straight for the day. Yeah, okay. Lots of people are giving all the hearts and sharing on Twitter, so Yay, remember, yeah, share. remember to swipe right to share. Okay, so with no further ado, um, as a lot of you probably know, we launched last week our verse of the year line, which is super exciting. Um, and Jess was gonna, is gonna share a little bit about her heart behind the verse that she chose. So Jess, what, did you, what verse did you choose? I chose John 10.10. 10. Um, he came that we might have life and have it to the full or have it abundantly. And here's why I chose it. First of all, I've been obsessed with that verse for a long time. And um, every year for the past few years, we've done a Naptime Diaries by devotional study. Or um, for, for us, what that looks like is we kind of do it over the summer. We get really quiet. And we've typically looked into that John 10 passage about abiding and being one with Jesus. and. Um, so it's just been really, you know what, I'm, I, as I'm saying that, I'm realizing, never mind. That's John 15. It's John 15. Mm -hmm. They're totally disconnected. In my mind, they're really connected because it says in John 15 that you should prune so that you have bear more fruit. So those, those ideas feel super connected to me. But um, this year, Nick and I were kind of praying about our year. We're praying about what, like, what we felt like God was telling us. And I, we were hearing those two things, like prune and abundant life. Um, and specifically for our church, we, God like gave Nick this word about like the direction we want to go for our church is that we want to see people cross from death to life and life to abundant life. And it just put really, um, it just put like legs and like feet and flesh on, right, that's what we want to do as a church. Like essentially we want to move people from death to life and we want to move them from life to abundant life. And um, when you say that, you can kind of always you can kind of always pause and know where you are on that scale somewhere like you know I'm alive in this area but I'm, I'm not living like abundantly in it and so we kind of started to look at all these different areas of our life and say like well, what would abundant life look for look like for us and if Christ has died for us if Christ has died that we would have abundant life then what would that look like and where are we on that path between like life and abundant life and so um yeah so we just started praying through that and I've loved this verse for a long time and I just felt really like the peace to stay there and to just stay and keep asking the Lord in my life, in my walk with the Lord, in my relationship with my kids, in my business, in my relationship with my husband and my friendships, and I'm walking out abundance. And if I'm not, why not? Mm -hmm. um, since he's already paid for it. Mm -hmm. So the story behind how we designed this print though is a little interesting. And that is that it's something we've never done before. You might've heard us talk about it on Periscope or show on Instagram. We've never done anything with pictures before. Um, with actual like pictures that we've taken but and this is our 24 by 30 canvas yes. size of 24 by 30 yeah. but it comes in everything it comes in an 8 by 10 print an 11 by 14 print poster size a 16 by 20 canvas and 24 mm -hmm. by 30 canvas and the story behind it is I actually have three pieces of I like don't even want to call them art but I have three frames in my bedroom that I've had for like three years and they all look like this. They're white frames, but it's just plain like nasty old paper. Um, and I had stuck nine Instagram photos on them. And at the bottom of each of them, like three years ago, I had written um, John 10, 10. And, and it was just, it's been such a sweet reminder every day to wake up and look and, and see those pictures and like be reminded of the fullness that we have and that I wanna live this very full abundant life. Um, but they're really crappily made because they're like paper with like whatever. And so I was like, I wonder if we could do those on canvas. I wonder if we could do them on like our nice paper on our prints and we could just pick, um, 
pick pictures. So it felt like a little bit of a risk to, to pick pictures for people. Um, but I just... Are these all from your Instagram? These are all from my Instagram account. And they just all kind of, um, to me, represented different like areas of abundance. Um, and there's significance in some of them. And some of them, to me, just looked like wide open space where... Um, that's a lot what abundance is to me, just believing that God can come and do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. Um, but like we can rest abundantly. This is this, I took this picture one day when I was on a run. So I was thinking like we can run abundantly, you know, this is a picture of downtown Charleston. I love the idea of like abundance in my city, even where it feels most lost. And so they all kind of have personal significance to me, but we ended up loving how this canvas looks. We love how this looks on um, paper. We, we've seen that a lot of you guys have liked it too, and we're so glad. But that's the story behind my first of the year and by, behind this canvas, which I'm now going to replace with my, my janky ones on paper with this canvas <laughs> I love so much. Um, and subsequently, my husband's first of the year is Romans 4-9, I believe, and it's in the shop, and we made it the exact same way. We made it with different pictures and they're slightly more masculine. Mm -hmm. um, so a woman could totally buy it and put it in her house, but we thought, you know, this would be a good good one for um, for women to buy their husbands if they wanted to, or if they wanted to buy both and put them side by side. Um, and same thing, all of the Instagrams on that one are mine as well. There's a request for any other meanings behind. So if, if, are there any other yeah. pictures that have? I'm trying to remember, cause I, I kind of, I have made them all, like I did them all intentionally. Oh, this was, I took this picture um, on a girl's trip with my mom and my sister. And so I love just like the abundance of family, even though that won't like scream family to you, it does to me, which is why I designed it. This is our Naptime Diaries office where we are right now. Um, so to me, it was kind of like, you know, abundance in your work or in your mission. Mm -hmm. um, this one, I just thought of about like abundance in your life with the Lord, like dreaming and praying with him. Um, I'm trying to remember the other ones. Oh, abundance in beauty, obviously. These are like just some really pretty flowers that a florist gave us one time. Um, let's see, rest, running. What's the city? Pur purple sky on the beach? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, these are the only two. I'm trying to remember what these two signified to me. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'd have to go back and look. I know I wrote it down. Let me see if I can remember. I don't want to make something up. I want to be genuine yeah. about it. <laughs> That's cool. That's yeah. let, let's leave it there. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for sharing your verse. Yeah, thanks guys. Oh.